You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Keeping an eye on this situation in Fulton County, the ramp from I-20 eastbound to I-285 northbound. Authorities have blocked it so they can clean up a fuel spill. We'll keep an eye on it, let you know when they reopen. And first this morning, sunshine and chilly temperatures to start you off, but does it stay dry the rest of the day? I'll walk you through the forecast coming up. We start your 11 minutes of nonstop news with a community searching for answers after 16 year old Briasia Powell was shot and killed outside of Benjamin E. Mays High School. 11 Alive's Molly Oak joins us live now with the latest on this investigation. Well, Christy and Cheryl, police are still investigating after a teenager was killed and another teen was hospitalized after a shooting over the weekend. It happened just before 2.30 a.m. on Sunday. Police say there was an unauthorized gathering in the driveway outside Benjamin E. Mays High School when someone shot Briasia Powell and another 16-year-old. Both were taken to the hospital. Powell died. The other rising junior is in stable condition. Atlanta Public School says counseling is available for staff who are in person still this week. As for the students and families who are off on summer break, APS says that telehealth is available for counseling. Guys. We are continuing to follow breaking news out of Decatur right now. Police have been on scene for hours investigating a deadly shooting on Emerald Drive. This is a live look at that scene. The shooting happened just before 3 o'clock this morning. We have a crew on scene still working to find out what happened. We'll bring you updates as soon as we get them. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, there is a murder investigation in the case of a man shot to death at a grocery store. Yeah, this is happened. That happened yesterday along Conley Road in Southeast Atlanta. That's near right where 285 meets I-75 at the airport. And when police arrived, they found a 48-year-old man shot multiple times. He died at the hospital from his injuries. Police have not yet released his name. A Covington police officer is waking up at home this morning, thankful to have this Memorial Day with the people he loves. Look at this video. This is Officer Rashad Rivers leaving Grady Hospital over the weekend with a wave there and a big smile. Rivers was responding to a call at a hotel in Covington when a suspect shot him in the face. He had surgery on his jaw. He will now finish his recovery at home. We're so glad he's doing so well. As a show of support, Rivers was honored with a full police escort back home to Covington. He nearly jumped out of that wheelchair, ready to get home. Don't blame him. In Clayton County, almost two dozen animals are in a shelter rescued from a hoarding situation. Clayton County Animal Control Supervisor James Townsend says officers arrived to a home on Holly Circle and saw a woman throwing dogs out a window. These pictures show what investigators call, quote, horrific conditions, with 18 dogs and a rabbit living in piles of feces. Animal control of officials say there are things to look for if you think someone may be hoarding. They attempt to conceal the smell and they'll put plastic over the windows. If you're their friend and you go to visit them, they will come out and meet you in the driveway. They say another sign is hearing the dogs, but never seeing the owner take them outside. All right, that was a look at your top headlines. What a sunrise. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous out there this morning. I know, hardly a cloud in the sky to start you off in Atlanta. There's a few clouds up in the North Georgia mountains first thing this morning, but as you step out the door and you see how pretty the sunrise looks, it feels great outside as well. So we've got this dry air in place, so it's that crisp and cool, refreshing, almost spring-like morning that you'd expect more March to early April, not late in May. So some great photos. This one from our camera top of Northside Hospital, another vantage point of this morning sky, looking towards Midtown and Downtown, currently in Atlanta, it's 63 degrees, but just step outside, outside the city in those suburbs to get away from the urban heat island effect. And we're in the 50s this morning, 56 in Duluth, Peachtree City is 58. Clayton, look at that up in Raven County. It is 49 degrees, almost chilly enough. You need to turn the heater on. So some light sweaters, not a bad idea for the next hour or two. But once we get past a lot of the start times of these Memorial Day ceremonies, it's all about a quick warming trend for us the rest of the morning hours. So for the early ceremonies that start at 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning, we'll be in the low and mid 60s, so grab a light sweater. But this afternoon, if you're not going to be heading out to a ceremony until maybe noon for the Marietta ceremony at the National Cemetery there, temperatures at that point will already be up to the low 70s. Uh, 80 degrees this afternoon in Atlanta, 81 in Gainesville, nice day out on Lake Lanier, 79 in uh, Peachtree City, and we'll be in the mid and upper 70s in the North Georgia mountains. Last day of the Jazz Festival happening at Piedmont Park, some nice family friendly fun out there today. 
first performance at 1 o'clock. We should be in the low 70s for that. There will be some fair weather clouds bubbling up this afternoon, but it will be a beautiful afternoon all around. Just don't forget sunscreen and to reapply the sunscreen. UV index today is in that very high range. Humidity changing for us this week. It won't be the dog days of summer really sticky outside, but the humidity will become more noticeable. And what that will do for us is allow for a few pop up showers and storms each afternoon to develop once we get past the holiday weekend. So today we start off comfortably cool this morning. A little breeze from the northwest kicks in this afternoon with some partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow looks to stay dry here in the metro, but I do have for the afternoon few little pop up showers possible in far northern Georgia. Here's your seven day forecast. Besides uh, isolated showers this afternoon, this week, most of us will be staying dry. Jerry. I saw some movement that led me to believe that maybe quite possibly they were about to reopen the ramp from I-20 eastbound to I-285 northbound, but nope, there you see the hero unit still on the scene. This came in hours ago as a fuel spill. One truck saw another one spilling fuel onto that ramp. They reported it to GDOT. The hero units got out there along with some others to try and clean that fuel up, but uh, still working on it. I don't know. It's been a, a stubborn issue. There's a look at the big three, 75, 485. Been a pretty good uh, morning the last oh, hour or so. We had some big problems out in Douglas County earlier, but that's all gone. So you are enjoying your ride coming in from Cobb County, Alpharetta, or Lawrenceville. Authorities in Metro Atlanta are exposing a party trend that is popular on social media where teens break into homes for sale and then throw parties. It actually happened in Gwinnett County last week when hundreds of teenagers gathered at a home without permission. Police believe there were between two to three hundred people there. The owners of the property say nobody lives there in the area. Police are not sharing the address, but they are warning parents and homeowners of this latest trend and realtors say it's a growing problem. You've got a lot of investors in Atlanta and they're fixing up houses and getting ready for folks who want to move around the summertime. So yeah, you're going to see, you know, a, a big surge of houses out there, but you're also going to see a lot more parties going on. Another major concern here, the homeowner not only has to repair any damage, but also can be liable for other issues teenagers cause. Police are asking parents to keep a close eye on kids this summer. They recommend owners of vacant properties call their local police departments and ask them to do periodic checks. On this Memorial Day, the city of Decula is holding its 30th annual parade to honor service members who made the ultimate sacrifice. The event starts at 10 o'clock this morning, the parade stretching about two miles. Some roads will be closed along the route, so just be aware if you are in that area. The city of Dunwoody Parks and Rec Recreation is holding its annual Memorial Day ceremony at 10 this morning. It's open to the public, co-hosted by Dunwoody's Veteran Events Planning Committee. Happening right now, the holiday travel weekend continues. You're taking a live look from Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Busy as always, officials expect 2 million people to fly through the airport over the course of the weekend. The airport was bustling with travelers over the weekend. Friday, close to 98,000 people went through TSA, marking the third busiest day ever for the airport's security checkpoints. If you plan to drive instead today, the average price of gas is holding steady. Right now, it's about 326 for a regular gallon of gas. But get this, around a year ago this time, gas was nearly a whole dollar higher. For many, this long holiday weekend is the unofficial start to summer, which means a lot of cookouts. Cleveland Clinic has some tips to help keep you safe from food contamination and spoiling. Keep any kind of meats or raw items separate from your vegetables so there's no cross-contamination. And then be sure to put that food away when you're done enjoying it. Some other simple things to keep in mind, just wash your hands before touching food, clean surfaces after raw meat touches them, and cook your meat to a safe temperature. Good morning, Melissa. And pretty good weather for grilling out later on today. This morning, though, for Memorial Day ceremonies, it is a crisp and cool start to the day. In Atlanta, we are running in the low 60s. Some of the suburbs are still in the 50s. But by lunchtime, it's mostly sunny and mild. 72 will go for a high of 80 degrees for today, a partly cloudy sky. We stay in the 80s through the work week. Jerry. Here is a live look at I-985 up near Hall County near Lake Lanier. If you've got the day to take a trip up to the lake, either there or over at Alatoona Lake up I-75. Both clear travels for now 
have a good Memorial Day. Yeah. This morning, Princess Ariel in the Kingdom of Atlantica swimming in first place. Blockbuster weekend for The Little Mermaid and its star from Atlanta. Today, probably another big day for the live action remake of The Little Mermaid. So far, it's brought in $96 million rave reviews for Atlanta's own Halle Bailey, who stars as Ariel. Oh, it's going to be a favorite this yeah. weekend. All Something right. to do with the kids. Yeah. Family friendly. Always need more of those activities. No doubt. Hope you have a great, safe day. Enjoy the sunshine, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.